What's up guys? So I know it's been a minute since I made a post. Um, for my update on deer season, I ended up not tagging anything. I ate some tag soup this year. I uh, had a missed shot on a, on a, on a deer. Um, passed up on a few small bucks. But yeah, it just didn't happen for me this year. So um, I'm not into killing small bucks or else I would have tagged. But uh, yeah, so anyways, today I'm going out uh, lobster fishing down here in San Diego Bay. Um, I don't have too much experience in lobster fishing. I've gone out a, a couple times. The times I've gone out, my camera was acting up. Um, I, I'm trying out a new SD card to see if that fixes the issue. So, um, I did get a few lobsters. But, yeah, like I said, my camera, for whatever re reason, wouldn't let me view the videos that I took. So, not sure what was going on with that. But, uh, hopefully this new SD card will fix it. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to go uh, launch out from Shelter Island, um, probably drop my hoop nets right along the uh, jetty line there, um, and see what I get. For bait, I'm going to be using mackerel and anchovies. Um, they say using like fresh bait from the bait barge is, is best, but at $50 a scoop now, um, I think I'll just stick to frozen and <laughs> see how that works. <laughs> I mean, I've caught some off frozen, you know, just frozen bait, so... It works, but uh, I haven't given uh, the live bait a chance yet, you know, but uh, I just don't want to pay 50 bucks for a full scoop. I think that's kind of ridiculous these days, but it is what it is, so stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, we're out here, right by the jetty at the inlet. I got three of my nets out, out that way already, by the jetty here. So this is how I got my net set up. This is a seal-proof... Uh, bait tank bait cage i could i guess you could say so it comes with these clips you just wrap it around these bars and it ties onto here right and then these are my buoys uh california state law says you have to have your go id number on there and i picked up these little blinkers at uh these lobster lights over at squidco um and then to keep this organized my rope and stuff I'm using that and an extension cord wrap so basically let's see if I can uh, set this up without it falling over I forgot the thing the shit I need well basically what I do I just take this off and I unravel this I'm not very deep here so I'm only gonna ravel unravel a few feet and then I'm gonna go ahead and toss it over just like that and I let it sink until there's no more slack left I'll probably leave a little slack on there but uh, for the most part you don't want too much uh, too much rope sitting in the water so whoo almost fell I'm gonna say that's good like that so then I take my clip clip it back on carabiner and I attach it to my rope here and then set it in the water and we're good to go so when it gets dark, you'll be able to see it blinking and you'll know where your buoys are. I got reflective tape on there as well. That way the blinker dies, I got my lights up front. I can see what's going on. Well now, I just gotta sit and wait for the sun to go down and we'll be good to go. Keep it posted. Well, don't be those guys. I got my buoy right here. These guys are setting up right in front of me. Ridiculous. <sighs> Fisherman's etiquette, guys. Fisherman's etiquette. It's public water, so you can't say nothing. They can do what they want, but just don't be assholes. All right, third net, I got one. Looks like a keeper to me. And 
than it is. First lobster. And a big old crab, look at that. Look at that guy. Holy smokes, this is the second pull. Never seen a crab like that, that's crazy looking. Another lobster. That's gonna be a short one though, so it's gonna go back. It's another lobster. Probably gonna be a short lobster. Where's my card at? What the fuck? Huh. All right, let's see if I can do this one-handed. So this is gonna be a short lobster, but way short. Way short. This lobster is gonna go back. There it goes. Crab and another lobster. This guy might be legal. Nope. Not legal. Well, shucks. Yeah, barely not legal. Almost legal, but not legal. Yep. There she goes. There we go. That's not legal either. <laughs> Another short lobster. And two stingrays this time. <laughs> Back down she goes. A lot of shorts today. A lot of shorts today. Got one more net to pull. And another short lobster. Yeah. <laughs> it's getting on my nerves. A lot of short lobsters. Might move my other nets in closer. Yep. And another short. Damn it. Well, so far, it's been a night of shorts and one keeper. A lot of crabs <laughs> and quite a few stingray. Well, I think I've got, I don't know, I didn't record a few, but I think I've got like 12 lobsters, 10 to 12 lobsters already today. And they've all been short. Yeah. Need a partner. It, it gets boring out here by yourself, but the boat's so small, I don't know if a second person's going to, would, would even fit on here. Because <laughs> all my gear goes up front there, so... They'd literally have to, uh, well, maybe they'd have to probably sit in that chair, the second chair facing me, but some more buoys out here. It's a nice night. Very nice night. I'm going to probably just do a couple more pulls before I head in, so, well, probably just one more. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. All right, well, that's it for me today. About to head into shore. One lobster, one spider crab is what I'm gonna be taking home today. 
I got a little buddy swimming around beneath me. I don't know if you can see him <laughs> in the water there. Yeah, I was emptying my bait, uh, my bait cages. He's just swooping them up. All right, headed back to shore. All right, well, heading home. Night's over. Was a good night for lobster fishing, but uh, it was all shorts. I got one keeper. Um, I caught so many lobster today, I lost count. <laughs> I think I lost count after like 13 or something like that, but it just seemed like every net I was pulling up had lobsters in it. They were just short. And you can't keep them. So, uh, uh, yeah, FYI, um, if you ever do go lobster fishing in San Diego Bay, uh, game warden's out there like every single weekend checking. So, don't think you can get away with taking home shorts because uh, you will get busted for it. So, I'm going home with the uh, one lobster, one spider crab, and one rock crab. Well, going home with a few things, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a fun night out there. Um, it was a good time. So, what I was doing was I, uh, I, I went right up against the jetty, and I was probably maybe 20 yards from the jetty. Um, probably 15 20 feet of water and that's where I dropped my net so um, I happened to find a spot where they were crawling but uh, yeah unfortunately unfortunately they were all shorts for the most part kind of sucks <laughs> but anyways that's all I got for you now um, turkey season's coming up so Hopefully uh, I'll get some scouting uh, videos for turkey on here and um, one season rolls around, hopefully I'll get a turkey kill on video for you guys. Thanks for watching.